Man alive. Give me a minute and I'll show you how we got to this point. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. Hey, big day today. I got my outlet and I got my baby brother to the outlet and uh, pretty pumped up about it. I mowed the uh, grass out here. Man, it looks some kind of good. It is some kind of clean and tight cut right now. Say, so, hey, be sure you're on my email list and subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel. Uh, May 1st, and we'll give away five backpack blowers to five different winners. All that information's in the description below. Say, so, hey, let's jump right into this. I'll show you beginning to end, uh, unloading it. And he, he kind of went over to the mower and showed me a few things on it and that kind of thing. And uh, hope you enjoy. Gosh, that thing is, is quite a bit bigger than I was thinking. <laughs> oh, I can pick that thing up and throw it. Yeah, it don't weigh about 40 pounds. Y'all clean people, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hey, we... We're we gonna soak her down, down, baby. We be doing the same thing. Soak her down. Oh, look at the little baby boy. It's cute, isn't ain't it? it precious. <laughs> hey, ain't it precious. Congratulations, Papa. But that thing does the work. Oh, I guarantee it does. Mash the uh, button when you pull the the handle back, the red button. Uh, the way I do it is I use my pinky and I press the red button and then pull it back. Uh, and you don't, and you don't have to have your bell pulled. It'll cut on without it. Uh, so then, then all this is is your travel speed, yeah. really. So I've been keeping mine all the way up because it actually increases the speed of the reel based on how fast it is. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You're going to want the speed up yeah. a little bit on that. Yeah. And then it'll go without you. Oh! Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it now. Just Wait till oh. you pick up the reel. Holy cow! <laughs> I see what they're saying now about how you can aerate at any time. Yeah. Using that that method. Yep. It's not gonna make a mess in the yard. Exactly. And that's some pretty good penetration. What's that? A couple of inches maybe? Inch and a half, two inches probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ain't it precious? <laughs> That's cool, man. I love the way this stuff's made. It's made really, really yep. well. I mean, even the little homeowner model, I mean, I hate to call it That's the little, it ho it's a yep. little homeowner, that's what it is. It's just built like a tank, man. Yeah. I mean, I really feel like I could throw it and not, I mean, yep. I'm not going to, but I feel like you could and yeah. you know, it ain't gonna hurt. Steel. You got your choke on? I think I do. Yeah. Oh, maybe it needs a little gas. Oh, I know what the problem is. Ah. You have an on off. Oh, you like gotta that. turn it on. Well, so that the reason why they do that is so you don't have to come around to the motor every okay. time. Okay, so this stays on all the yes. time. Yeah. It helps to turn it on, right? <laughs> yeah. Now. There we uh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I've never had to pull the board twice. <laughs> little, little, little change there. Safety first, right? Safety first, yep. yeah. All right, well, let's get the height set on okay. it right, and then we'll roll with it. All right. How many blades has this got? This is the eight blade. Eight reel. blade, baby. Yep. Woo! 
Gosh, I had to get my fingers stuck in there. Man. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to be an inch and a quarter from the flat to the base of this nut right here. All right. All right. To adjust our height of cut on this machine is four bolts. All right, we've got two on either side of this front roller bar, and it's a 14 millimeter. Uh, uh, a ratcheting socket works great, but all we're going to do is take our how to cut tool here and we're going to hang the base of this nut on the bed bar of the reel to get it so we're just going to loosen these up and all that's all oh i told you 14 it must be a 12. all right i'll go get one oh, sorry man Hang tight. yeah that right there's the cleanest wrench in the county that's it <laughs> all right so now here we go all right so it is a 13 how about that <laughs> That's why I brought one. That's the second cleanest wrench in the county. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna loosen these up just enough to where they'll slide. See, there, there it goes. goes. All right, same thing on the other side. The other loosen. Yep. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah, don't you always get confused like like sitting up under a vehicle? Man, and I, it, I stay confused. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got her loose enough now. All right. So I was saying how we're going to use the short side to the mm -hmm. drum, long side out. All right. So it literally goes to the drum. And then we'll have to push this side up. Hang it on that bed bar right there. Mm -hmm. And then just knock it down into place. 13. 13, thank you, sir. That's pretty easy. That is very, very easy, especially when you turn the wrench the right direction. Yeah. And you ain't got to really hammer it down, do you? You no, just want sir. it good and snug. Yep. Okay. And actually, after you do it, you can go through the exercise. See how that bed bar? Yeah. How it uh, is holding that there? Mm hmm That's how you know you got it at the right height on this roller. Okay. So you actually have measurements here, these increments. Oh, okay. So you can mark them. They don't. Yeah. They don't come marked, but you can mark them based okay. on a certain height. I can just take a sharpie and do that. Yep. Yeah. So then we just knock it off. Go to the other side here. Hang it on there, knock it down, kind of put a little tension on it. Tighten it, don't loosen it, guys. That's four for four. Yeah, did they send the right guy up here? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. All right, so we're just snug there, and then we'll knock it off now, is there any double checking on that or are we confident with that we're confident i mean we measured our we measured okay. our our with our, our ruler there from the top of there to the base of that flange now we can just i mean just to double check it it should be pretty tight yep mm -hmm. so we've got we didn't have any movement since we tightened this side yep. down to that side all right cool all right to check the the reel to bed knife adjustment which you always want to be cutting paper right that's your scissor effect. that's your scissor effect so you have two points of adjustment here and there and you have a nice little picture here of which direction to turn your screw if your reel is too tight or if your reel is too loose hmm. so uh so all we're going to do here tilt the machine back down okay stick our paper underneath it to the reel and the bed knife just watch your fingers and Ooh, good gracious check it in the on each side and in the middle mm. there we go pretty clean clean cut and uh so that's all you do though to adjust it though is simple count your rotations and i just fine tune it meaning if i'm a little 
slack on this side i tighten it down or either let up on this one Bingo. and just get it evened out exactly okay that's pretty easy yep i'm telling you that right there is just precious it's i'm like cute. Getting, it's cute it is so cute boy <laughs> i ain't kidding you so this comes standard with the six blade reel and uh this has all the same cartridges as the big boys mm -hmm. so uh come standard with the six blade what you got with yours was the turf rake and uh you know super super easy high to cut adjustment depending on what you're doing all that is done with this knob back here mm -hmm. you have your indicator dial on the side there mm -hmm. right and there. your your uh i guess your conversion chart to know exactly how what height you're cutting at is in the Allet owner's manual okay and published online everything else all so right, cool um the Adjustments done back here. All right, so to change the cartridge. So it's nowhere near as difficult. Oh, no. And, and not that that is difficult. It's just, this is not as Absolutely difficult. Because it's mostly homeowners and they just want to reach down and give it a twist and go. Exactly, right. so gotcha. your max cut on this machine is an inch and a quarter. So literally. Back it up, brother. You can see, you can see the dial going. So we're just going to go till it stops turning. And there, we're done. Inch and a quarter. We're at an inch and a quarter. All right. Okay. And then this machine will go all the way down to a quarter of an inch. So you just reverse the process and go down. So we'll leave it right there. So in order to change the cartridge, you literally take your pull pin here, pop your basket loop off. You've got six screws total. One on either side of the reel. Right there, you see it? Yeah. Right here. All right, so we'll take those loose. Okay. All right, and then you have four more kept screws over here in this plastic cover. All right, so we'll take those out. All of it the same size? All of it's the same provided Allen wrench. Well, that's convenient. So, two in the top, two in the bottom. What do you mean a kept screw? It's got a washer on it. It will not come out of this plastic cover, so it oh, won't fall out. Oh, oh, okay. So it's got some kind of a guard in yeah. there to keep it from flopping out. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. This is a perfect time to check all your belt tensions. Everything on here, of course, is brand new. Looks nice good. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. So now, at this point, all you do... Oh! Okay. That was a little easier than I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I like it now. So then, of course, we just reverse the process. Drop it straight. Straight back down. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. I think the coolest thing for me about this is uh, obviously getting the real mode, something brand new to, to learn, but the different way of lawn care. Sure. Of how to keep, keep the ground raked and keep it clean without destroying right. the turf and that's the beauty of this too so what you're going to do is don't lose the screws most importantly mm -hmm. but when you're first starting depending on how what height you're cutting at what uh thickness of grass you have you know you start and what you're wanting to do is basically clean the canopy from the top down yeah so you start at the top half clean it to the point where you're not getting any more yeah drop your height again here until the point where you're just all the way down barely tickling right. the surface of the ground well I, I claim that i have a very not thatchy yard but i got a feeling once i run it <laughs> over i got a feeling i'm gonna find out i don't so. yeah Baseball that's, that's why you go pros. <laughs> All right, so again, the beauty of, uh, of this machine is the ability to do more than one thing with it. So of course, we've got the reel in it now for cutting grass, but we got you hooked up with the turf rake and the air fire cartridge. Mm -hmm. So no tools required to swap this implement, this, okay. uh, this cassette. 
most important thing to do is kick the foot pedal down. And what that's going to do... That'll be the first thing I forget to do, since it, you said it's the most important. Yeah. So, it's a little tight. It's new. It's supposed to be. Right. So then, all you do, you got your set screw right here. See it backing out right there. Mm-hmm. So you just slide it over all the way. Back it out till it's flush with that right there? Yep. All right. And then you just give it one quick little yank over. Make sure your bell is flipped back. All right, this is the important part of why we put the foot down. Yeah. That joke is heavy, boy. It is. Good gracious. I bet it probably it probably weighs <clears throat> a good 50 pounds. Oh yeah, I'm but, sure. But uh, what you have here, you have these Lovejoy couplings. So when we put it back in, this is the male side, the female side's over here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but that's all you gotta do. These are your set points for your cradle. And it <laughs> literally goes straight back in. And then to line it back up, you just kind of, you see how the, the reel is free? Mm-hmm. You can just take it and scoot it right back over. Nice, and then run your screw back in, you're run done. Your screw back in, you're done. looking pretty good Hey, there you go. Uh, the sun's not our friend today. I wish it would come out because these things would melt your eyes right here. They are so dark. Uh, I'm headed to the house. I'm gonna take off work early. We'll burn the road up. So, hey, be sure to stick around now. I'm gonna show you my yard. Cut it two and three eighths inch. I think that's the highest that thing will go. Hey, I'm gonna show you stripes like you've never seen before. So you wanna stick around and see that. I gotta get it because I'm gonna start mowing. I'll check you later. Hey, here we are at my home. This is my tall fescue yard. And uh, I've got this thing jacked up as high as it'll go, which is about two and three eighths. I think is what they said, two and five eighths, somewhere around in there. And uh, I'm about to get with it. I know you've been dying to see this, but I know you're gonna hate me for doing this, but 